to RT10 News, I'm Laura Delaney and I'm here at the National Planning Championship 2013. Earlier on today, I caught up with Dahi and Mora to find out all about the new series of the Today Show. Well, it's, it's a bit of a change because last year we were desk fan, the two of us were behind the Starship Enterprise desk and now we've escaped from that and we've gone to a more traditional, I suppose, show in the sense that we've got a lovely soft and lovely big couch. Yeah, there's a big huge couch there and uh, we also have a, ki a live kitchen inside in the studio as well, which we didn't have last year, but there was a lot of video inserts into the show last year. So this will bring another dynamic as well. All the chefs we have with the likes of Paul Finn, Kevin Dundon, Nevin Maguire, we have all these big names and they're all great fun as well, they're always great crack and we know them fairly well so that alone will be full cooked but also be kind of having a bit of crack. You can catch the new series of the Today Show on October 7th and we can't wait to watch it. Following over two months of careful deliberation on more than 700 application forms, the winners of the Arthur Guinness projects has finally been announced. I went down to the Faith Street Social in Dublin to ask Angela Stanley, the arts mentor, what she thought of the big ceremony. I have been involved on the arts panel with Chris O'Dowd and Rasha Gowen and Ben Redman and we're out here to, to tell people who we've chosen in our category. So it's been really, really exciting. It's been a, a wonderful process to see all of the, the talent coming through. And uh, yeah, I think we've picked a couple of gems. Well done to everyone who was involved. And with the full list of the winners, you can log on to www.arthurguinnessproject.com. If you think that the crack here at the National Plum Championships is mighty, then you're in for a real treat with Damon Ivor's new show. Suzanne Byrne caught up with Andrew Quirk in Dublin to find out which character he enjoys playing more. Damon definitely is the best. Because it's you're Dennis the Menace. It feels like me being a kid again. That, that kind of way. You can do whatever you want. You're, you're bold. And whereas Ivy, you feel kind of mean saying the lines that you're saying, even though it is acting, you still have to say these jokes that are pretty harsh to a person. But yeah, definitely, definitely Damo. It's way more fun. Like. Be sure to catch a Damo and Ivor on Monday nights in RT2. I'm now here outside the Electric Ireland tent at the National Ploughing Championships, and I'm about to chat to Celebrity MasterChef winner 2013, David Gillick, to find out what he's been up to since winning the show. It's opened up a lot of doors for me, like here I am at the Plough Championships, the first, first ever time down here. Um, I'm a dub with wellies on, which is not often we get to do that. And Electric Ireland gave me the opportunity to come down and, and cook. And I think, you know, after MasterChef, it's, it's, I've always had a big interest in food. Um, and it's just highlighted that more and given me more of an inspiration to kind of maybe continue down that path. I also asked David how he feels about becoming a hit with the ladies since winning the show. It, it's, it's been funny. Um, I think uh, even today I was cooking and I looked up and it was, yeah, it was a lot of women. But um, it's great. It's good fun. Um, you know, obviously, it still is, the kitchen is still female dominated. There is a couple more males getting involved. Um, but like that, it, it, it's been an experience. It's been really a great uh, self-fulfilling experience, you know. We have a feeling here at 10 that that won't be the last that will be seen of David Gillick on TV. Watch this space. Well, that's the latest happening from the National Plan Championship 2013. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks for watching. <laughs>